Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flighter Mouse. If you remember our Coca-Cola versus Molten Lead video, you'll recall that it was kind of a surprise ending. And because the results were not what I set out to do, I almost didn't even bother uploading that video. Let's see if we can duplicate these results. We tried this with water and it didn't have the same results. We'll try it again using Red Bull this time. We'll try to duplicate every step we took in the Coca-Cola video. We'll dump in again about 2.2 pounds of lead or a kilo of lead. And we'll heat up the lead to its melting point of over 600 degrees Fahrenheit. That would be 327 degrees centigrade. And once again we'll take our dropper, put some droplets of the Red Bull on top of the molten lead and you can see how the drops bounce around, it smokes, and the sugars burn off. And because the droplets don't immediately flash the steam and kind of bounce around on the surface, we call that the Leidenhosen effect. <laughs> People just don't know when I'm joking, do they? Okay, let's just dump the Red Bull in and see what happens. Now it's recommended you do not duplicate this experiment just for your own safety. There's a lot of hazards here. Now we can definitely see what's going on in slow motion here. When that cold carbonated liquid hits that hot surface, you not only have the Leiden frost effect, but you also have the carbonation flashing the foam and creating what I would call the super Leiden frost effect. The lead solidifies very quickly, leaving these very unusual whirls, swirls, and other impressions. Now, I wasn't sure if I'd get the same results this time. Red Bull has a little less carbonation than Coca-Cola, and I also refrigerated this Red Bull before I dumped it in there. The Coca-Cola was just room temperature. But I think the magic is occurring with the tiny bubbles. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.